Heaven's Live Video Devotional. Let's get right down to business. Tonight's word in the street is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Now you know how it is. You need to have your Bible already. 1 Corinthians 10, verse 13. And it reads, No temptation has seized you except what is common to man. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up under it. Cool. So I got a story for you again tonight. Um, it's about a time when I was young, much younger uh, as a child. And, uh, and I would come across uh, my shoelace, for instance. There would be a, a knot on my shoelace that you know, I was trying to get out. Or, or maybe I was uh, behind the TV trying to untangle some cords because I wanted to plug something in. There was a, the cords were kind of uh, tangled. They were all wrapped up. There was so much back there and it formed a knot. You know, or maybe there was some strings. For whatever reason, you know, it, things just kind of always seemed to get cluttered. And um, they just, they just, they really messed me up because for the life of me, I could not untangle these knots. Uh, as soon as I would see a knot, I would look at it, you know, it might be this big ball of string or whatever it is. And so frustrated, I would just grab any string I saw and just pull it. I'd just start pulling and ripping at it. I wouldn't even look at it. I'd just pull because I want to get this knot out. And so I'm just pulling. I'm rushing, trying to get whatever I did. And as I start to pull, I'm messing it up because I'm making the, I'm making the knot tighter than it originally was. And so now I'm pulling and, you know, it, it was always bad. I just sit there frustrated because now I got this, this huge knot that's, that's real tight and I have nothing, nothing I can do about it. And then there would be times when my mom would come around and she would look at me and, you know, I would let her know what happened. And she saw it and she's like, well, you know, pass it to me. And she would, she would make me call her the knot master because at that age, for me, there was no knot that she couldn't untangle. And so she would just come look at it. She would examine it carefully and she would just pull one single strand and the whole knot would come loose. I was always amazed. And so when she'd come around, I had to actually call her the knot master because I knew that she was going to get the job done. But do you have any knots in your life? We sometimes run into a knot. We may have already found it tangled or perhaps we tangled it ourselves. We often try to pull on the situation every which way without any help or guidance in a rush. And we make the problem more worse than it truly had to be. But if we call on the name of Jesus Christ, he will come to assist. We just have to recognize that we cannot do it on ourselves and that he is the only way that it can be accomplished. And once we do that, he comes through, takes his time, assesses the situation. He finds the right strands and pulls it apart, allowing you to see what was really going on. I encourage you today to give your knots to him. He is our true knot master. Have a good night, and I'll see you again tomorrow.